Okay, welcome back to Bullets and Brass. Before you jump on my case about the title, before you post all sorts of crazy things that I know are coming in the comments, this is a two-part video. I'm doing one half, and then I'm doing the other side, okay? So we're doing why buy a cheap AR instead of an expensive one, or however I decide to clickbait title this. And then the next video is why buy a high-end AR or build a high-end AR, either way. And I'm just presenting both sides of the argument here. I am not necessarily saying one side is the only choice or the best choice or anything like that. I think that this is one of those debates that is always going to continue. Uh, I routinely argue this about everything from bows to cars to firearms, you know, with, with all my friends. It is something that there is no answer. You have to make your own choice. So jumping in, why a cheap AR is better. Number one, it's a tool. It's not a luxury item. It's just a tool. Two, you've got to function test them anyway. Rifles fail. Rifles have problems. Nothing is 100% out of the box until you test it. If it works, it works. Most cheap ones work just fine. And keep in mind, this is different from the just as good thing that, that goes around. This is me saying <clears throat> 95, 98, whatever the actual percentage is of budget ARs come out of the box Get clean, go to the range with decent ammo, and work absolutely fine. Have no problems. People shoot thousands and thousands of rounds with no issues. And since most people don't run tens of thousands of rounds through the rifles, they never even notice that it maybe doesn't last quite as long as something else. Um... Most people never use the accuracy potential of their premium gun. Uh, if you buy something with a fancy barrel and you shoot mil-spec ammo through it, what's really the accuracy of that rifle? It's the mil-spec ammo. So why spend money on a $300 or $500 barrel instead of the $75 barrel or the $80 barrel? You're going to wind up with lots of them anyway. Why spend a ton of money on one of them? They seem to multiply no matter what you do. If you decide you want something better on, on some piece of it, upgrade it. It's an AR. It's Barbie for guys. You can literally upgrade any piece of it no matter what you got. So if you want a different handguard, you want a different trigger, you want a different barrel, you want a different muzzle brake, you want to upgrade your bolt, your whole bolt carrier group, your charging handle, whatever it is, you can do that. You don't have to buy the whole rifle. You can just go... You know what? I like that charging handle from the Noveski. I'm going to buy one. Or I like that barrel from the LaRue. I'm going to buy one. Do it. Go for it. The added price for premium brands is high. It can often be double or even more the cost of a, a basic, decent quality rifle. We're not talking like, you know, bottom of the bargain bin here. But just a standard run-of-the-mill rifle, you can spend two or three times as much. And the end result of your actual using it might not be any different. With the extra money you save, get better optics, more magazines, more ammo, spare parts that you're going to need anyway. Just, you know, you're always supposed to have them, right? So whether you buy the expensive rifle or not, you're still supposed to have, in an ideal world, you know, some spare parts. Well, if you got to have them anyway, why spend all the money on the super expensive rifle that still might fail, why not just save the money? So, that, and, and sorry, let me, let me add one thing. The budget is better spent somewhere other than the roll mark. That, that was my little note from the, you know, where to spend the extra money. So, that is my short video on why cheap ARs are better. And in a minute, I'm going to, you know, cut the camera, go to the next one, and film why expensive ARs are better. So stick around, watch the next video. It'll probably come out in a couple days. Uh, don't flame me if you're on the other side of this argument, or feel free to flame me. It's all good. Take care, all.